Hey guys, it's Paradise, and here's a super quick guide to get the very cool pure deck scaling Dancing Blades of Rana, a weapon that allows you to continuously attack as a dance while holding down the unique attack button with a flurry of slashes. You'll also get the entire dancer's set at the same time, which is really great because it enhances the damage of dancing type attacks, and if you have a female character, it will probably look a lot better than on my Gandalf cosplay. To get these, you will need to get to the Cerulean Coast site of Grace. You can do this super early on in the game by going from the castle front site of Grace and following these arrows on the map to curve around this hill area, then go through a cave that leads into the river. Once you're in the river, run south, dodging the enemies and parkouring it down until you actually reach this site of Grace. From here though, it's not too much work. You will want to mark this tree on the edge of the map as this is where we will be running and jumping down from. So place your marker and then run towards it with your mount. I suggest you try and hug and run along the cliffside on the left as there's a bunch of enemies that can attack and shoot lightning at you, so try your best to avoid them. Once you get to the tree though, just run and fall behind it where you will see a small path that you can land on and there's a hole with a bunch of platforms inside. Just jump your way down and of course the mount is going to make this very easy until you get to the bottom. Once there, head west and keep following the tunnel all the way through. Ignore any enemies and just keep running and you should be fine and then you'll reach the opening where you want to dodge these big crabs and go straight to the right and then up to the left onto the raised grassy section. Loop around this area to look for the stone building with a big door on it and some stairs leading down. Head inside and you'll see a boss room. Inside of this boss room, you will find Dancer Rana. She is going to drop everything that we want. Beware though, she will spam a constant flurry of slash attacks at you and sometimes will do a fire magic AoE spell. I found Adjula's Moonblade as well as the Starlined Katana to be fantastic for stun locking her, but I did need to kite her in between those uses to use potions. She attacks very quickly, but don't worry, there is a checkpoint right outside if you die, so it might take a couple goes. Once you finally have defeated her though, the full dancer armor set and the dancing blades of Rana are yours. Do note that each piece of the dancer set specifically enhances the power of dancing attacks, at least so it says, so there's a clear synergy here with the blade. The blade itself is solely scaling off of decks, so I would assume this is really good for a pure dex build. It requires 9 strength and 20 dex, but make sure to make use of power stancing because you actually get a secondary blade in your offhand when you do this, which is pretty Pretty cool. The unique skill of the weapon is called Unending Dance and this is where it really shows off. This is a furious dance of successive slashing attacks and if you hold down the skill button it says you can sustain the dance for as long as your stamina allows. For me though this did actually drain my FP but it was at a very slow pace. So there you have it, the full dancer set and the dancing blade of Rana. Share any awesome items or weapons that you found so far in the new DLC and drop a like if we've helped you out with this quick guide. Make sure to subscribe though because we're going to have more Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree coming your way very soon.